hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video is literally so exciting if you guys have been following if you guys have been watching my videos for a while or like follow my instagram or anything you would know that i've been super into reading recently the, actually the past like six months probably it has been something that i've really enjoyed doing and i never thought that i'd be like a bookworm or just like love to read for fun yeah so i'm a little bookworm now and i love watching book reviews book talks to be read like all kinds of videos like that in this video i'm going to be talking about all the books i read in 2022 it's not a ton but that's just because i started reading in june so like it's been like six or seven months i guess i'm just gonna get started i don't really know like how these videos go but i'm just gonna try my best and just have fun with it talk about the books that i read and if i like them or not i'll give them a rating i don't have a lot of them because when i first started reading i decided to purchase them on my ipad and i just liked reading that way the past few months i I've really started to grow my collection as you can see i just put a few of them here just because it's a book video and i wanted to make it look cute but yeah these are just like a few of them that i have but i'm gonna be looking at my phone because i wrote all of them down and i kind of have like my thoughts on them and just like an overview of the book because honestly reading so many books like you forget what each one is about and unless you really like it or really hate it but yeah, I had to like write everything out because I kind of forgot like what happened. Anyways, I guess let's just go ahead and get started. I'm so excited to talk about these books. So the first book that I read this year and that was kind of like the start of my reading era, I guess you could say, is of course It Ends With Us. And this was just because literally everyone was talking about it. I think I had gotten COVID. I just needed something to do. So I just decided to purchase it on iBooks. And yeah, this was the first book that I read. Everyone was obsessed with Colleen Hoover. So basically, this is about a girl. Her name is Lily. She has just finished college and she decides to move to Boston. In the beginning of the book, she meets a guy named Ryle. And she obviously like starts to like him a lot and starts to fall in love with him. She ends up starting to read letters that she wrote to Ellen DeGeneres when she was younger, like in high school, I think. It reminds her of her first love which his name is Atlas. He decides to show up and it's kind of like a love triangle and she has to decide what she wants to do. And I rated this book a three out of five. I actually really did not like it that much. I thought that it was way too overhyped and I felt like it was very predictable. Like you basically knew what was gonna happen the whole time. Yeah, I mean, it was a cute little romance book, but it's definitely not something that I would like recommend to people or read again. I know everyone feels really differently about that book. Some people love it, some people hate it. I am not a big lover of it, so. The next book that I read was Verity. It's another Colleen Hoover book. In this book, there is a husband. His wife is a writer. She is very injured. I think she's like paralyzed or something. She can't talk or anything. And so the husband decides to hire a writer to finish her books because her books are like really popular and she has a few more books in the series to finish. He hires someone to like go through all of her notes and kind of like finish the books for her. She is staying at the house that they live in and there's two kids. She basically just finds a manuscript in the office of the writer and it's very creepy, very twisted, and just kind of like really messed up. I'm not really gonna say much of anything else about that because I feel like I'll give it away, but it's a really good book and it's very, like it takes twists and turns that you really don't know what to expect. You don't know how it's gonna end basically. Yeah, I rated this a four out of five. I really, really liked it. And I realized that I'm really harsh with my ratings. Like I am really not the type of person to give a book a five out of five. So I'm just gonna give you guys a forewarning on that but i did really enjoy it i thought it was good and everyone was saying that that one is like really different compared to her other books that she writes like it's not it's a romance but it's like not the main focus i guess the next book that i read was layla and this is another colleen hoover book everyone had me like hooked on colleen hoover just because everyone was talking about it and i just had to know but in this book this couple meets at a wedding i believe and somehow the ex-girlfriend is involved i don't remember much of like the storyline in the beginning but basically someone ends up getting shot the couple ends up going back to the like wedding place that they first met to kind of like rekindle their relationship because it's like this house type thing the guy his name was Leeds 
ends up figuring out that someone else is living in the house and Layla starts acting really weird. Leeds has to make like a really big decision that's going to change all of their lives. It's just like really crazy and intense. And then at the ending, it's just like really shocking and it's a really good book. I loved it so much. It was it, it is paranormal if you don't like that type of book, but a really good book. I think it's different than anything she has ever written before. This is like the first book that I ever recommend to anyone when they ask me what they should read. I forgot to say that one is definitely a five star read for sure. Layla, five out of five. The next one I read was Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is about Evelyn Hugo and she has like this really crazy life and she's finally ready to tell her story, tell everyone about her life. So she hires someone to write an autobiography for her. The girl's name is Monique. So she writes about all of her husbands and kind of like her crazy life while being famous and being in the light. Monique begins to realize that she might have some sort of connection to Evelyn Hugo and then the ending is like super shocking and at least for me I was not expecting it at all and that made it like really good because honestly I felt like it was a really slow start but once I started getting into like you know the intense stuff and the ending was just like blew me away. That one I get four to five but I feel like I would give it like 4.5 out of five because I do think that it was really, really good. Then I read The Girl on Train. I don't remember why I wanted to read this, but I'm really glad that I did because it's not like a romance book. It is, but it isn't. Like it's not like your typical romance. This is about Rachel. She takes the same train every day. I don't know if it's to work or I don't remember if she has a job. So she sees the same couple every single day on the train that she rides like sitting on their back porch. One day she sees something very shocking and she ends up going to the police to talk about it and then she like gets herself unraveled in this couple's life it kind of bounces back from perspective to perspective like different people in the book i just remember the ending was very like oh my gosh i cannot stop reading like i felt like it was very intense there is a murder investigation throughout the whole book so that's also part of it do you remember really liking it and i ended up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 so must have been really good. The next book that I read was Reminders of Him and this is another Colleen Hoover book. For this one, Kenna, she just comes out of prison. She wants to meet her four-year-old daughter because she's never met her before. So before she went to jail, she got in a car accident with her boyfriend at the time. His name is Scotty and everyone thinks that she's the one that killed him because she kind of like ran off after it happened. Her child is with his parents so they like don't let her see the child at all then she meets this guy who is close to the parents and she starts to form a relationship with him and yeah basically you have to figure out if she's gonna be able to see the child or not and how it all happens and everything so yeah i like that one i gave it a 4.25 out of 5 so like I said, very, very picky with my ratings. And then I started Hopeless. I didn't finish it because I had to return it to the library before I could finish it. So I don't really remember much about that book. The next three I read pretty recently. The ones before I read like all throughout the summer basically. But like with school, I had literally no time to read. So these ones that I read are more, more recent and I remember them better. So the next one I read is Love in Other Words. This one is Christina Lauren which apparently it's two authors. So Macy ends up seeing Elliot, which is like they were high school lovers basically and they hadn't seen each other in 11 years. And so yeah, they see each other and it kind of goes back and forth between past and present and like what happened and why they haven't seen each other in 11 years. And they both are able to like tell their stories of what they thought happened and like why they broke up. It's a really good book. I liked it a lot. I like their writing. Very highly recommend this book to someone. I gave this one 4.5 out of 5, so yeah, that one's really, really good. After that one, I read The Unhoneymooners, which is also by Christina Lauren, and I borrowed this one from a friend. This one is about uh, two sisters. They're twins, and Amy is having a wedding. She is getting married to... I don't remember the guy's name. But she's getting married and Olive is the sister they're at this wedding and everyone gets food poisoning from all the food except for Olive and Ethan which is the groom's brother so they're both like sister and brother of the bride and groom everyone is sick and they have this honeymoon that is all paid for 
and they both decide to go on the honeymoon together i also forgot to mention that they absolutely hate each other so they both go on the honeymoon together and olive she has like really bad luck so she thinks this is the start of her good luck i literally just read this and i don't remember how it ends all right well anyways that one i gave a four out of five and the last one for this video is this it's called just haven't met you yet by sophie cousins it tells a story about laura she is the host of a show called meet cute she finds couples that have like crazy stories of how they met and fell in love and she interviews them she decides she wants to go to jersey figure out how her parents met because apparently they have this big love story and she wants to retell the story of her parents so she goes to jersey and she ends up swapping suitcases with someone else that was on the plane and she opens up the suitcase and it's a bunch of things that she likes it has her mom's perfume in it or the kind of perfume that her mom wore and a bunch of things that she likes and she's like oh my gosh this is the love of my life i need to find him tries to go find him she meets this cab driver named ted and yeah it's kind of like a love triangle type thing she needs to decide who she wants to be with i like this book it wasn't really my favorite i feel like the writing was just like odd i don't know it just had some details in there that i feel like didn't need to be in there the ending was really unnecessary one of the scenes in the end i rated this one a three out of five i probably wouldn't recommend it to someone and now i'm currently reading malibu rising and i started this a while ago but I couldn't really get into it. I feel like that happens with a lot of Taylor Jenkins Reads books. I feel like I can start them, but they're really, really slow and hard to get into. But I'm on page 293, so I'm almost done with it. And it's really good so far. It's getting like super intense, but those are all of the books that I read for 2022. I am so excited to see how many books I read this next year. I made a goal to read at least 50, which I feel like is a lot, but I definitely can do it like i literally read three books in the past week but that's also because i have been on break but i'm gonna be graduating in may so i'm gonna have a ton of time to read after that so i'm very excited yeah i got a bunch of books for christmas maybe i'll do a tbr let me know if you guys want to see that that is going to be all for this video i really hope that you guys enjoyed a little bit different than my normal content and i really want to start switching it up because i feel like i do the same video every single week and i know not everyone loves to watch those so i'm gonna try to switch it up let me know any book recommendations that you have down below that i haven't said in this video obviously i would love to go through them and see which ones i want to read thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys